create an email where students can send an email and their work will automatically be published or moderated to a blog. So I've already logged into my blogger um, dashboard. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new blog over here on the left. I'm going to give my blog a name and I'm just, since this is an example, I'm just going to call this student sharing example. And then I need to give the URL for my blog. So let's see if student sharing example is available. And it looks like it is. Now I could choose a template here. I'm just going to stick with simple. I'm going to click on create blog. So what what it does is it's going to take me to my the dashboard of my blogs. And this is really useful because it provides students with an authentic audience. So really, if we're if you're familiar with the SAMR model, you can take it up to that um, redefinition um, level in SAMR. Okay, so from here now, I have my new blog. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And this is the dashboard of my blog. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go down and click on Settings. And then from here, I'm going to select Mobile and Email. So you'll notice here it says Posting Using Email, and it has my email, my blog email address, and then my secret word. Now this has to be at least four characters. So I'm just going to call this student. So what this is, is this is the, this is the email that, I, that my students will email their work to me. I also have the um, option to publish immediately or to save emails as a draft post. So if you want to review their work before it's posted, you can always save it as a draft post. So I'm going to go up to the right and I'm going to click on Save Settings. I'm going to navigate over here to where my email is. I'm going to compose a message and it's going to be to lnc808.student at blogger.com which is what we created previously. Now the subject of your email is going to be the title of the blog post. So I'm going to title this, this is a sample post. Oops. And then from here, this would be the body of my post. So this would be the body of my, or the post. And of course you want to make sure that you spell everything correctly. And then I go ahead and click on send. So now if I jump back over this, it takes a few few minutes to, to publish. So I click back over here and back in, back in the, the my blogger. And I'm going to click up here on view blog and see if it's posted yet. And it hasn't automatically. So that's OK. I'm just going to click on refresh. OK, so you'll notice here, here's the post. And what's nice about this is you notice that it doesn't say who, who the author is. So if you want to keep the identity, it's, it's posted by me because it's my, I'm the creator of this blog. But if you want to keep the identity of your, your students private, that's another useful um, thing, I guess, about doing this. So I hope this was helpful.